Dr. Andrew Yun over at St. John's Hospital, and we're going to spend a few moments discussing what are our most frequently asked questions, and that relates to preparation of surgery and how to prevent infection. So the two important ingredients we're going to go over are hippocleanse and mupericin. Hippocleanse and mupericin. So let's first start with hippocleanse. Okay, so the first thing that we'll use is Hippocleanse. Hippocleanse is the trade name. It also has a generic called chlorhexidine. Chlorhexidine, also known as Hippocleanse, is an antimicrobial agent. It is applied to the surface of the skin to kill bacteria. Now, this medication, or Hippocleanse, this cleaning solution, is something that is over-the-counter. A prescription is not necessary. It costs anywhere between $8 to $12.00. It comes in different sizes. You will buy the four ounce bottle, the small one, not the 32 ounce bottle. You will buy the four ounce bottle so that you can take two showers, one the night before surgery, one on the morning of surgery. Let's go over that. Okay, with Hippocleanse, you are going to take two showers, one the night before surgery, one the morning of surgery. Okay, so when you are in the shower, you'll wash, do your typical facial care, you can wash your hair. When you are ready for a Hippocleanse at the end of this shower, you will step away from the water. Then you will apply the Hippocleanse, but you'll avoid sensitive areas, your face and your groin, and you will leave the Hippocleanse on for about 30 seconds, just like you would do with conditioner. Then you don't scrub it off, you just step back under the water and rinse it off and pat dry. And that's all you have to do. Apply it at the end of your shower, Leave it on for 30 seconds and then rinse it off and pat dry. And this Hippocleanse is now killing the bacteria at the surface of the skin. Bacteria is completely normal to have, but we want to avoid any bacteria when we're making a surgical incision. The second major medication you will be using is Mupiracin. Uh, Mupiracin also goes under the trade name Bactraban and you'll get a 22 ounce tube. This, unlike the Hippocleanse, is not over the counter. It requires a prescription, which we will give to you. You will start the mupiracin ointment treatments to your nose five days prior to surgery. Again, five days prior to surgery, you'll do it once in the morning, once in the evening, and we'll show you how to do that. And the reason we do this is because staph bacteria very commonly live at the base of the nose in almost everybody, but it's completely benign. What we would like to do is have you decolonize, decrease the amount, even eliminate the amount of bacteria in your nose so that surgery can proceed most, more safely and decrease the risk of any infection. So the application of mupiracin is very straightforward. So you'll start this five days before surgery. So if you're having surgery on a Friday, you back this up, you start on Sunday. That's five days before your surgery. And you do it once in the morning and once in the evening. It's very straightforward, you'll take a Q-tip, Remember, buy Q-tips when you pick up your, your, your mupiracin. You put a small dollop of the mupiracin ointment on the end of the Q-tip, and then you'll gently work it around the inside rim of your nose. This is physiologically where the bacteria is colonized. You put it on each nostril, and then you'll gently massage the tip of your nose for a few seconds to work the medicine through your nose. And then that's it. This will substantially decrease the normal colonization of staph in your body. In summary, the preparation to minimize the risk of infection is very straightforward. It requires Hippocleanse, which is the shower the morning of surgery and the night before surgery, and Mupiracin, applying it twice a day starting five days before surgery. This substantially reduces the risk of any type of infection. It's healthy for you. It's healthy for the hospital. And it's healthy for all the other patients having surgery. So these are important steps. Don't skip them. Very straightforward. Thank you very much.